20 as they take the penalty. Vito from Penn State was the starting tight end most of last year because Sampleton was hurt and Spagnola was hurt. And now they're all healthy again. Well, reasonably, Spag, as we indicated, just got the flu. Kenny Jackson wide to the right, Mike Quick to the left. Montgomery backfield. Here comes Hilby, and Hilby to the 30-yard line. Yard line. First and 29 officially. Jaworski looking for Kenny Jackson. No. And a flag. Might have been interference by Lawrence Johnson. I think that's going to be the call. The Eagles across the way, and by the way, they are across the way now. The Eagles have moved to the other side of the field. They say it's because they get the sun late in the air and it's a little warm over there. I say it's because you get on TV better. <laughs> Side judge Jerry Austin called that play. So it's a first and 10 with 408 left. They got a lot of plays off. Three punters on the Eagles now, one against the Brownies at the 44 yard line. Play action behind Jackson, intending for Jackson, and another flag down. Might have been a late hit by Johnson. Stomach for mix with Christy McBee for a magic and the Thompson's win. Rock and rock weather. Cool and again for tenders and shit. You will always in the news. Rock, hit mix. One of many hit collections from Cape Town. Now, fine stores everywhere. In defense. Well, there's a 54 on offense, and I was yeah. looking down and said maybe they'd switch. Oh, Deleon is out. He's out with an injury. Yeah, so he wants his job to center, right. But he's also got an injury. Now, I think it's got to be Lawrence Johnson. Whatever. It's first and 10 at the 49. <laughs> now, you know, the Browns will definitely go for a play like this. They, they run fourth and one, fourth and inches all the time. I don't know if Marion's going to do it. Oh, sure, he will. Why not? You got a preseason and you got the chance to uh, keep the crowd happy here by going for it. Of course, you better make it. <laughs> I would say, say a sneak here. What would you say? There's a first down. Oh, they gave him the first down. Okay. I thought he missed it. Well, they moved the, the change anyway. The okay. The measurement looks. Go ahead. That's Hubie. Well, starting position. I say apparently. Because uh, Mel Hoover's been starting in the preseason games up to tonight. And uh, they, the indication I get, uh, they think Kenny is ready. How about you? Tony Woodruff also is getting a lot of playing time. But uh, I think they want to take a good long look at Kenny and uh, get him game ready. The guy just has too much talent to sit on the bench for very long. It's as simple as that. He can run well and he catches well. First and 7 to 23. Hit by Long Banks was also coming in from the other side. Banks, of course, is another one-man wrecking crew, number one draft choice out of Southern Cal. So they've got an outstanding linebacking core with Cousineau there in one of the middle spots. Third and ten at the 23-yard line. So the shotgun now. Robert couldn't quite catch up to it. And they'll bring in the field goal unit. Almost for Wilbert. Well thrown. That is man feet. Well, the connection just did not quite make it. As you saw, Wilbert did a little dipsy do first before he ran straight out for that play and uh, just a little beyond his reach. So Jaws will hold for the field goal attempt by Paul McFadden from the 31, making a 41-yard field goal try. We're tied up at three with a minute one to go in the first period as McFadden nails one. So far, so good on the field goal kicking unit. We'll be right back after this. Second period. And here they come, and away we go. We'll be back right after this. Shelly LeBrock makes you think Bill Derrick's 10 at the desert. You have 
the middleman, Glenn Young, talked to Wilbur throughout the game while he was in there to see if he wanted to continue, and I think Wilbur just wants to work. Billy Jackson at the bottom of your screen. Here's Wilbert. There goes Wilbert. Wilbert's ready. He's at the 40-yard line. That's for Dixon on top of him. Yep. Wilbert Montgomery has returned. What a talent. Geraldi and Kenny, of course, the blockers on that side of the line of scrimmage. Here it comes. 19-yard pickup. Look at the uh, stutter stepping and also the cutout to the outside. Nobody had the speed to get in there quickly enough to stopping him until he picked up that 19-yard run. There it is from the other angle. He goes one way, cuts back the other side. Goodbye, Wilbert. He's going out. And that'll see that? all you're going to see of him tonight. That's the natural instincts of running to daylight. He saw the hole close up quickly, just went to the outside and turned on the burners and uh, was quick enough to get there. Wilbert was saying that his meet mates were uh, kidding him that they said, hey, Wilbert, when are you coming out of retirement? Well, apparently he has returned. One fact remains, he just keeps doing the run back in again. Jaworski to the sideline. Out of bounds near the first down marker with the 40. Lauren Burke and Montgomery. Want to be kicked. That's the whole thing. They want to get something out of this one. It's at the 45 yard line, second and five. Wilbert, Oliver gives him a block. But he just burns some defensive backs. There you see Sam Ritigliano, one of the nicer guys you're ever going to talk to. I love some of his sayings. I'll get to some of those in a moment. Okay, he's third got, and three at the he's 43. Got, he's got a whole library for him. The tight end. They sort of loosen up on him a little bit. And there's Vito coming right over the middle. Matthews nowhere near him. And he picks up the first down inside the Browns 30-yard line. Pick up a break of the line. Oh, no. Yeah, he's got more. Oh, no. I don't want any more. <laughs> first and 10 at the 30. Yeah, I had to put up with that for two years. Robert Montgomery. <laughs> uh, second and six at the 26. Robert a win. Third and three at the 23, and they will go shotgun. Open! Touchdown, Kenny Jackson! What was that quick? No, it was Jackson. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, no. I know, I know. He is bad. Look at this now. Watch number 27 come tearing over from the side there. That was Al Gross. Look, he had just missed it right there, and he gave up on it at the last second. I don't know why he pulled his hand back, but Kenny Jackson was there. Gross pulled his hand back. He could have had a deflection. Jaworski holds. Nick Patton kicks. The Penguins of Youngstown State. He drilled it. So with 4.09 to play in the half, it's now Philadelphia 10 and Cleveland 6. And we'll look at isolation here on Kenny Jackson. All right, here's Kenny. He gets by the initial defender right there down the sidelines. Now here's the pass. That was Larry Brazil. And look at that. Great catch. And you would think that his concentration might have been deflected there a little bit by uh, the defensive back Gross coming across. But it didn't turn out. All of a sudden, the Eagles have a four-point lead.